Okay, I'm just going to thank everyone for participating. You know, we can't have too many eyes and too much thinking about this. This is really important. Um, I appreciate the hard work of our staff as well as the cooperation of uh, uh, Edison. And um, I'm going to ask at this time, uh, the makers of the motion are asking for a yes vote. Is there any unwillingness for unanimous yes vote? Seeing none, uh, no opposition. Mr. Then Chairman. But if Commissioner. If I could, I would like to do a follow-up uh, motion, if that's appropriate. Uh, not, not an amending what, motion? Not on the action we took, but uh, some direction to, to ask uh, uh, that a letter be prepared to the Secretary of, of Energy on behalf of the Commission, uh, urging uh, uh, the prompt action to have a system of removal and relocation of spent nuclear fuel uh, that is currently stored at uh, San Onofre. Uh, and um, that we, we send that communication and provide copies of that to the governor and to the uh, California Energy Commission and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Uh, we, Chair Kinsey, we'd be happy to send such a letter if that's the consensus of the commission um, to convey that <laughs> desire that this nuclear waste issue be dealt with as expeditiously as possible and that not end up with uh, waste in the coastal zone. Very good. And that we see a copy of that, too. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sure. Please have a roll call vote on this, not a request for unanimous. I want to see everybody vote. And I don't hey, want listen, thank you very much for your thoughts, but this is not public comment opportunity. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask for I'm going to ask for a roll call vote. Would you sit down, sir? Would you sit down, please? Please sit down, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, please sit down. Yep. I'm going to ask for a roll call vote. Commissioner Bochco? Yes. Bochco, yes. Commissioner Cox? Yes. Cox, yes. Commissioner Howell? Aye. Howell, yes. Commissioner Luevano? Yes. Luevano, yes. Commissioner McClure? Yes. McClure, yes. Commissioner Mitchell? Yes. Mitchell, yes. Commissioner Schellenberger? Schellenberger, yes. Commissioner Turnbull Sanders? Yes. Turnbull Sanders, yes. Commissioner Uranga? Aye. Uranga, yes. Commissioner Vargas? Yes. Vargas, yes. Chair Kinsey? Yes. Kinsey, yes. The vote is unanimous. Thank you. We then uh, hereby approve the Coastal Development Permit for the proposed project and adopt the findings associated with it. Thank you all for everybody's attention, and uh, we'll take a five-minute recess and take up the next item. Thank you. proceeding right now. Z zero money allocated to, to move that fuel to another spot on that plane. Zero money allocated to deal with cracking. Zero money to deal with repairing anything. And that seawall in the staff report is the seawall isn't any good now. They haven't been maintaining so they're not counting it. So they're, t they're talking about you know, letting them build it up. Well, it's already falling apart with holes in it from corrosion. So the commission has made decisions based on, at best, misinformation. And, and uh, we should have them go back and educate each one of those commissioners before they get to dig. I think that's what we need to do, is go educate these commissioners because they have been lied to, they've been misled, 
and at least they admit it. They can't inspect these things, and they don't know when they're going to have the tools. I don't think they ever will, based, based on what I know about how you inspect for um, stress growing cracks. They can't do it. The best way to do it is to put a dye inside and see where, the, where, it, grows, where it goes. You can't do that with containers filled with cement. So I don't, they're not going to have an adequate solution anytime. Five years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, not with the, these, these uh, inferior canisters. And they haven't even talked about the concrete degradation that they can't inspect. That didn't get covered. It only can cover certain things in a few minutes. So we need to educate this, this commission before they make decisions other than Edison uh, propaganda, which is what's happened here. I was very disappointed with how the, uh, the chair handled this vote. He's, he's asking, oh, is it an unanimous? And they didn't actually vote on it. You should allow people to vote their conscience, not try to manipulate the vote. Uh, so luckily I had a chance to call them on it and say we want a roll call vote before they went through with that and that business of it's unanimous without even voting. Uh, this has got to be brought to court. I mean, we have uh, one party coming in with a, a statement about what's going to happen uh, Southern California Edison and no, no other point of view except for staff. Uh, I heard that a number of the members were actually contacted by Southern California Edison in advance of the meeting to talk about it. Um, you know, or where I'm going to expose ex-party communications. Um, you know, I, I think that's improper. We saw it, uh, Southern California Edison be able to, in a bogus fashion, try to answer all the concerns up here. Um, th this, this was, after watching them spend some, a person's entire career working on a bike path and um, preservation of the coastline, they spend a minimum amount of time on this nuclear waste dump that's likely to be there for uh, our entire lifetimes and our children's lifetimes and many generations to come. Uh, they didn't spend any time on it. That's what I'm concerned about. They didn't actually come through and look at these. And, yeah, they have a few questions up here. But really, in just a few hours, you're going to make this determination without a lot more review. They tried to sneak this thing through. They didn't notify people that were involved here at the, at the community engagement panel. I asked David Victor to advertise this. He didn't do it. He didn't give me any response. It wasn't at the last meeting where they said this is coming up. No, the community engagement panel needs to be called a community disengagement panel. <laughs> it actually is an attempt to get the community distracted on a bunch of crap and disengaged from this important meeting. And so, yeah, this is this is I, I this is my first time at the Coastal Commission meeting, but I'm I'm pretty disappointed with how this whole thing was run. Well, what just happened is the California Coastal Commission just unanimously voted to do whatever Southern California Edison asked them to do. And that was to approve the storage of 3.6 million pounds of nuclear waste on our beaches in San Diego County. And the, uh, the California Coastal Commission, the motion was made by Commissioner Cox. Now, interestingly, he sits on the Board of Supervisors in San Diego County. San Diego County has had the courage to bring a motion to send a letter to the Department of Energy Secretary say, asking the federal government to help find solutions to move this off our shores. Commissioner Cox, while sitting for the county, recused himself and did not vote on that issue because he said today he knew he would be listening and hearing this today. Yet he was the one who made the motion and spearheaded this effort to give Edison whatever it wanted. The problem is they call this an interim storage, but they came here in 2000 calling it interim storage and you've never heard anything to further move it from the property. This is not interim, this is permanent. Looking at whether safeguards are adequate, the problem here is the Coastal Commission does not seem to have the information it needs. There was a staff report and they did a nice job, but they didn't do enough. We heard cases today come before the Commission where the city of uh, I can't remember what city it was, but spent years and years and years deciding whether there should be a bike path. Here you have the storage of 3.6 pound, million pounds of toxic nuclear waste on our shores, where the risks 
if there are leaks or some kind of storm or catastrophic event are such a, an incredible threat to human safety, yet the time that they've taken to investigate this is so small. There's no reason to rush. Like Commissioner Mary Schallenberger said, if we're going to ask them to come back in 19 years with information, why don't we just ask them to come back with it now? Sadly, she did go along and vote with it, but she raised the right questions, and we're hopeful that those are the questions that the public will now raise with their legislators and with the, uh, their regulatory bodies. We will be looking into every legal remedy available to determine whether the Coastal Commission had the authority it did to make these findings and this vote on such an insufficient record that Edison teed up. The Commission has tried to extricate itself from liability and it seemed like it was uh, foreshadowing what it thought might come its way if in fact it did vote against the public interest as it did today. So what we are doing is we are going to look and see if Edison used the same tactics in getting this commission's approval as it did with the Public Utilities Commission. We have already asked for every communication from Edison, every meeting, and we'll continue to fight to get those kind of records to see exactly how this came before the commission and what was said.